Hello Internet! Today we are making medicated guacamole. Guacamole is one of the easiest things that you can make. It's a recipe that everybody should have in their back pocket. And not only are we teaching you the basics of making some good guacamole, but we're also going to show you how to infuse it with marijuana. So uh, let's get to cooking! I like to leave the seeds in it, and really we're just using this as a garnish. Little bit of honey. And some vinegar. We're using red wine because we don't have any white or apple cider. A little pepper just because I love pepper. I'm kind of right in the script while I do this. We're gonna mix this all up really, really good in here. Just, you know, just get it blended. And that's it, we're just gonna set that aside for a little while. Cilantro. Freshly washed. What you wanna do with this is you wanna make sure you get rid of these hearty stems. This one this way, so I have garnish left over. This one this way, so I can squeeze the living hell out of it. And this one, just gonna be garnishes. Right here. These guys are for squeezing. So you wanna get this as really fine and mint as you possibly can. But you want to make sure that it's not so fine and tiny that uh, you're going to good fill it. You know? It's just going to melt in the avocados. You want to know the color. Right? The cells in an onion are this way, not this way. So if you cut with the cells, you cry less. So always start that way. Avocados. You want to make sure you get a ripe avocado, but not like overripe. Grab your spoon at the edge. Start there. Go straight back. You might notice that I am not chunking these avocados right away. And that's because avocados oxidize quickly. So the more surface area you have exposed to the air, the faster they'll brown. This is actually what the lime helps a lot with. The citric acid in the lime keeps the avocado from browning. So since we've got our first avocado in there and we have two more to do, we are just going to take some of the lime we already have, just one of them, and we're just going to squeeze it. Get all the juices out. We're going to be putting more lime in here anyway. Toss them around the lime juice just a little bit more. We're just keeping the green. We're going to take out hopefully all the big chunks because we're going to cut these quickly and put them back in before we start folding and mashing. chunks. I like mine kind of chunky. We're going to end up mashing some of this anyway, so we're just getting it ready to mash. But if we did this to each avocado while we're before we prepared the other avocados, then all the avocado would get wet. And you don't want that. That's what the citric acid is for. The lime on top. And then just give it a little toss just to get everything in there. 
as you see, it's already starting to kind of emulsify and mash a little bit. Right now, let's let hang out. Today, we're going to be infusing our guacamole using Luminous Botanicals Universal Cannabis Tonic. They have several options to choose from. Today, we're going to be using the CBD dominant one, which has 18 milligrams of CBD and 2 milligrams of THC per serving. The reason that we're using Luminous Botanicals Universal Cannabis Tonic to infuse our guacamole is because it is a fat based tincture using long chain triglycerides and some medium chain triglycerides. Many tinctures are strictly medium chain triglyceride based or alcohol based and with the specific makeup of this tincture which makes it more bioavailable to the human body as well. It also makes it absorb seamlessly into the fats in our avocado, making it almost undetectable in our final product. We are aiming for three to four servings of guacamole, and we are aiming for 25 milligrams per serving. From here, we've, our avocado is infused. We just need to make a couple little stirs, make sure it is, the tincture is fully incorporated into all of the raw and limed up avocado here. As you see, a lot of our lime juices have been soaking into it, emulsifying it. From here, it's simply adding our ingredients. So tomato in, just start turning. A lot of the avocado is going to mash while you're doing this. And you want to be careful not to break up the tomato too much while you're kind of squishing the avocado while you're going through. Then we add our garlic. And you want to add your onions at about the same time, which we have kept covered because red onions make you cry. Well, you are only using about half an onion and we chopped most of one, so I'll leave some in there. We don't want to make, you know, our guests too stinky. Personally, I like a chunkier guacamole. I like having a piece of avocado on my chip. You add your cilantro. We're just going to dump that in there unceremoniously. And all that tincture is just getting up in there, just getting absorbed. So every little bite of this is going to have some tincture in it. At this point, we're not too worried about browning anything because it's full of lime juice and that citric acid is doing its job. And as you see, it's getting more and more guacamole like as we go through here. So after you're done fully incorporating, you want to seal it all the way down right on top of the avocado using saran wrap or if you're like us, we have these reusable things. And it's important to get it all the way down on top of there to create an air seal. You can find the details and all the measurements of our recipe somewhere in a description attached below, above, there'll be an arrow. 